Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gadoni Mwondwe. Thank you to the returning subscribers. And if at all you've not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Also like and comment and help me share this video. Today I'm lucky to have a guest. She'll introduce herself. Hello, I'm happy to be here. I'm Natalie Helenius from Finland. Karibu. Asante sana. So we're going to talk on the differences between the dating and marriage life of Kenyans and people from Finland. Now we see like are there some things in common? Are there like huge differences? Yeah, it shall help us learn more. But mm -hmm. what we shall start on is on the distance, because in Kenya you'll find that it's quite common having long distance relationships. Just that it could be a bit shaky depending on who you're dating and who you in marriage with, but it's common. What about in Finland? What's the situation? I think it's not common in Finland. I think being even two hours distance with, with, what, uh, with the car is too much, kind of. But of course there might be situations you need to be uh, apart for yeah. some time, but mostly you're yeah. not. Like you'll and like will you be able to meet on a daily basis or mm. weekly? Yes, daily basis. Yeah. Wow. Okay, then at least that's better. Yeah. Here it's quite common on the long distance and also on the reasons to love. Like in Kenya right now, people have different reasons as to why they are getting to marriages or to relationships. But I believe we've been corrupted, especially our minds and everything in our generation because of the past traumas or the past experiences and most people are doing it for money right now whether it's the men and ladies as ladies you, you're checking like on the future how rich will you be or how wealthy will you be mm -hmm. or also like on the current now how wealthy is the guy and also for men most men are after how smart is this lady and will you be able to make more money in the future. I'm also thinking the economic situation in the country is aiding to that. Mm -hmm. But what about the situation in Finland? Mm -hmm. I was thinking when you were telling those that in Finland it's even uh, in our history it was maybe more common to get her in the relationship because somebody expected you to do that. But nowadays it's more even like people are independent and, and I don't know the word but they are they are have they are already or they are considering even to get into the relationship because they might be more happy yeah. just on their own but maybe in the relationship the love is the most common answer when yeah. you end up to the relationship yeah. or marriage mm. and also the aspect of happiness mm. I think yeah. yeah that's quite a, a big difference because in Kenya more on happiness like we tie our happiness to money mm. mostly mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah and on the age the age differences between partners either the spouse or the person you're dating in Kenya mostly you find the age gap is three to five years that's the most expected gap. Mm. But in some situations, you'll find like ladies dating men who are older with 10 or 20 years. Mostly happens to ladies who did not grow up with father figures and they want the father figures in their life. Or also ladies who want the already, already furnished men, like men who have been in marriages before, mm -hmm. so they already know what to expect, what to do to a lady. So it's easier, like it's a walk in the park for a lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's something about mm -hmm. the age, and also you find in some situations whereby they could like older ladies dating younger men, also like mostly explained by money. Mm -hmm. Now in Finland, how common is that? Mm, mostly the gap is is similar to Kenya, like three to five years is is really okay, and mostly mm -hmm. it's it, maybe that the woman is the older one, like. No, 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 just the opposite, like the man is the older, older one, one. Yeah. yes, mm -hmm. but it can also happen that, that the gap is more, like over 10 years or, or even more, but maybe that is not that common, Yeah. and mostly you can see the celebra 
the celebrate celebrities. Uh, yeah. They they have this kind of relationship, but they 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 might happen also in in <laughs> in every household, but yeah. we just don't see it. Yeah. But the celeb the, the celebrities the, like. Yeah. It's like in Rari Money because they are in the public. Exactly. And then like, now in Kenya, you'll, you'll find like a celebrity who probably, you see like the celebrity life is mostly on how relevant you are. Mm -hmm. The moment you lose relevance, it's like you're losing who you are or you're losing money, you're losing your job and gigs and everything. Mm -hmm. But so that you can bring back your relevance, if at all it was like on the low, You'll mm -hmm. find situations whereby a celebrity will take an old muse, mm -hmm. then marry them for the media or the bloggers to write something about mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Then they'll gain the fame back and now use it as a stepping stone. Mm -hmm. It's quite common on the cloud chasing also in mm -hmm. Kenya. Which I don't know if at all celebrities in Finland do the cloud chasing thing with marriage and life. I believe that happens also yeah. because the beneficial is equal. They all both benefit of, yeah. of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now on cheating, how common is it? Because in Kenya, cheating is like a daily dose. People really don't don't mind cheating. Mm. We've also reached to a point where by cheating is like you'll get an explanation as to why I cheated if at all on your partner. And you'll be like, can it make sense or let it pass and we continue with our relationship or marriage? Initially, we had marriage, especially the married people, stepping out of marriage, if at all cheating happened, or mm -hmm. stepping out of relationships, if at all your partner cheated on you. But right now, even if they cheat, they're like, no, till death do us part, we're not mm -hmm. leaving. There are other bigger reasons than cheating that mm. will make someone step out of marriage or a relationship. Mm. Yeah, hot about in Finland. Mm. I think cheating it itself it of course it happens, but maybe it's not daily based. <laughs> no, no, no. Maybe it's <laughs> something that happens and, and then, then the couple needs to really talk about it. But I was thinking in Finland it's quite common to open your relationship mm. if you are feeling you are not maybe fulfilled in this relationship but or marriage but still you want to continue with this person yeah. you might end up with the situation you wanted to op want to open the relationship yeah. so, so that you can maybe fulfill your sexual needs with mm -hmm. some other people i think that is happening now kind yeah. of and it it shall it might work yeah. really well and yeah. don't you think like there is that aspect of jealousy like the moment you open the relationship and maybe you, you as my partner could find someone better than me and you could meet without me knowing them it mm -hmm. becomes a whole thing yes it might become a whole mess <laughs> yeah but somehow i i i feel and what i have been read and and so that that opening the relationship also requires more con communication yeah. between the partners and it might actually even help the relationship to talk about the problems that occurs the situation <laughs> we need to open this relationship yeah. so so positive and negative sides mm -hmm. but i think yeah and the jealousy is of course there it's of course there. yeah now that you're talking about open relationships there's also this thing about being a surrogate mom mm -hmm. thereby if at all i'm married and i'm not able to carry a pregnancy mm -hmm. a friend or someone a friend or some or i could say someone mm -hmm. to carry it for me mm -hmm. it's it's a bit not so common, mm -hmm. but it's starting to to shoot shoot in mm -hmm. Kenya. I'm not sure in Finland if it's common. No, mm -hmm. I I no I think I think <laughs> it's not. No, yeah, I don't know where we removed it from. But mm -hmm. in my opinion, I'm thinking it's it's a good thing to ask because mm -hmm. if at all a lady has a problem in carrying the pregnancy, someone could assist her and they pay her money. Yeah. And some are actually doing it as business now, like being surrogate mothers. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. but actually in Finland, we, that kind uh, can happen, but then it's like you decided to give your baby away mm -hmm. and then there is somebody who wants to adopt it. Oh. So it's official, it's not, yeah. then it goes with the bureaucracy <laughs> thing, yeah. yeah. But it's not still common. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now about marriage. 
like in Kenya, before you get married someone, there is a whole process before the wedding, especially the bride price payment, the negotiations, and the parents and relatives have a very big say on the partner you marry. Mm -hmm. What about in Finland? No, in <laughs> Finland we don't have that <laughs> at all. Mm -hmm. If you want to get married, you just you just get married. Mm -hmm. If you want to be really uh, take, how do you say? If you want to do it well, you yeah. can ask a permi permission to from the parents, yeah. but that's that's. That's that's not even asking a permission. That's it's like just informing them. Kind of, yeah, yeah. And that's not even no. It's not <laughs> a requirement. It's yeah. just something you can do if you want to. Yeah. What about bread price? Like, there is no bread. Price. There is no bread price. Wow. Like, no. <laughs> no, no. in Kenya, like you can take a lady and marry her or do a wedding without paying at least some amount of the bread mm -hmm. price. And now the bread price. Differ, uh, it, yeah, it differs depending on families and clans and everything, mm -hmm. and also tribes. Mm -hmm. Then on co-parenting, mm -hmm. assuming like you are married and now like you've divorced, who ends up with the child and mm -hmm. also who pays the child upkeep? Because mm -hmm. in Kenya, mostly the mother is the one who is given, according to law actually, the mother is the one who is given permission to stay with the child until the child is 18 years mm -hmm. and the child now can make a decision. Mm -hmm. But in some situations whereby the mother is not able to stay with the child, the father takes custody. Mm -hmm. About paying the child support, you'll find out that mostly it's the man who is paying the child support. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the ruling was passed, but there was a suggestion on go, doing it like 50-50 if the woman has the financial capability. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure on that, but most cases is the man who ends up paying the child support. And you could also find some ladies like targeting a rich man to mm -hmm. get the child. And now she could be a single mother. She's not after marriage and everything. But she could be a single mother and sourcing wealth from the rich guy through the child. Mm. Yeah, what's the, what's the situation in Finland? Mm. Uh, first of all, I think the marriage is something you also do because you want to uh, get, not benefic, benefit, but, but somehow it helps if you get married. It helps you to find, um, if the other person dies, you can yeah. get the, the inheritance. Mm. Kind yeah. of, and if the other, if you get the divorce, the child is kind of secured. But if you are not in marriage and you had a child, there is more problems you need to negotiate. And yeah. maybe the marriage is something you do to avoid the negotiation, which, which might be really hard if yeah. you have divorced and the situation is maybe tricky. Mm -hmm. But in the case you get divorced, the I'm not sure if if it's Mostly, maybe mostly it's the uh, mother who takes care of the baby, but it's mm -hmm. not like... It's a mass. No, it's not a mass. Mm -hmm. it, it also, it's also according to the whole situation. But as I know, mm -hmm. I believe marriage also helps with that, that, mm -hmm. the, that the man has also some power to test this thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. like equal rights mm. to the child but if if the child is living with her parent, uh, mother then the man is paying the, the child the support child. yeah but if it's other way around i believe then the mother is paying the, the child support mm. wow. yeah but also the government is paying child support mm. so certain the amount mm. yeah so actually lucky that the government is also supporting because mm. we in kenya like mostly the government does not get in between especially financially mm -hmm. if at all it's the child and everything besides like the help which is a loan and it comes after you, you've gone to campus mm -hmm. and maybe there's also the CDF support which is it's not enough mm -hmm. it's just the education support mm -hmm. in a public institution mm -hmm. so it could be in the primary or secondary level but it's not enough also. Mm. 
so the child support has to be paid by especially the father it's what i'm used to seeing and also now on the co-parenting still assuming you married and now the husband has a side chick or uh what what's the other name of a side chick mm. like he goes impregnates some other lady mm-hmm. outside and now like there's this whole thing on god forbid the husband dies the husband dies Mm -hmm. and now the child of this other lady who is outside marriage Mm -hmm. like it's a child born out of red Mm dog is the child supposed to inherit wealth from the father Mm -hmm. or is the child recognized by the constitution Mm -hmm. or what happens because in kenya it depends also with the tribe and the society Mm -hmm. Some tribes allow and they recognize the child as long as it was the father's mm-hmm. and others are solved through the court case because mm-hmm. no one knew the father has a side chick or uh, not, not the father, the, the husband mm-hmm. has a side chick somewhere mm-hmm. and now it's the burial day mm-hmm. and now someone appears with children mm-hmm. and they resemble like, like this one and this one, mm-hmm. they resemble each other. And now you have to go through a court process because mm-hmm. if at all the man had written a will and everything else, like it's a whole mess mm-hmm. even within Kenya. It's not just this, it's not it's not just given. Mm-hmm. What is the situation in Kenya and on that? I need to admit I'm not too <laughs> too good with those situations. I don't mm-hmm. know too much about it, but I think if, if the child has always the right. Yeah. So if the child jumps out from somewhere, he or she has the right to, yeah. to inherit. Mm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I also need to add that the child support from government in Finland is not like enough. It's just some amount yeah. to cover like daily basis, like some amount of food and some something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the parents are the most who are feeling mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's enough. Or do you have something to add? Maybe not. <laughs> but yeah. love wins. Mm-hmm. Love yeah, wins. yeah, love wins, love wins. Yeah. Just that it, it 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 could take us time to get back there because initially mm-hmm. it was, then it became a whole. It, not let not let me bl- uh, let me not blame a generation, but mm-hmm. something happened in between, mm-hmm. and maybe like we also became more aware. Mm-hmm. Because some situations that our parents stayed in mm-hmm. are not what you could call love. Mm-hmm. So it's a whole new generation learning to do things their exactly. way and becoming aware. So probably it could take time to stand on love alone and say like, I love this person and it's just love that shall mm-hmm. make me settle with them. But we shall get mm-hmm. there hopefully. Yeah. And it requires trust. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it also takes a lot of trust because mm. I'm thinking also before people reached to that point, there were previous betrayals of course. before it reached there. Yeah. But we're just hoping that someday mm-hmm. you'll be able to stand on the ground of love. Yeah. And yeah, love always wins in me. Exactly. And I think our generation is the breaking point. Yeah. We are now trying to make difference. Yeah. In Kenya, I'm not sure if at all I'll say our generation <laughs> is trying to make the difference, mm-hmm. especially with love and money, because mm-hmm. it's like it's so much directed on the line of money, money, mm-hmm. money. But I'm thinking also with few cases of love winning, mm-hmm. people could also change their mind. Exactly. And also like with independence, financial independence. Because mm-hmm. if at all you are independent financially as a lady and as a man, You'll find like now it's the love that's ruling. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much for coming. Yeah. And you much welcome. I'm happy to have had this conversation with you. Also for those who have been, tell us your take. Yeah, I'll I'll be glad to know on the views you have about this whole conversation. Thank you so much. Until next time. Bye bye. Bye.